A few months ago, I was waking up every day and essentially just wasting my time. I would wake up, roll over, grab my phone, and start scrolling on TikTok for 30 minutes, sometimes an hour, sometimes even longer than that, and sometimes I would even go straight back to sleep afterwards. Nothing was necessarily wrong with me, it just felt like every day when I woke up, I had no drive to literally do anything at all whatsoever. This is back when I was living with my parents and things were going pretty good. I was making pretty good money through social media. My brand where I was selling salt spray was also doing very well until I saw a dramatic change. And this change would then turn my life into something completely different than I never expected and what it is now. But before I get to the good, I need to continue and tell you how bad it really got. It got to a certain point where I was so dopamine addicted that when I woke up and scrolled on my phone, that wasn't enough. It felt like I literally had to have my phone anywhere and everywhere I went. Meaning, anytime I got in the shower, I'd be scrolling on TikTok. Anytime I brushed my teeth, washed my face, literally anything I'm doing, I'll have TikTok playing. It got so bad that I would have my phone sitting on the counter. I would reach over and scroll. Like, it was that bad. And this is the better of it. That was when I was actually at least somewhat enjoying my time during the day because my dopamine was so high, but without my phone, I couldn't do anything. Back when I was in school, I couldn't do anything. Honestly, any task that didn't involve a large amount of dopamine felt so draining, taxing, and just horrible. Doing this is absolutely horrible for your mental health, and it can't last. So I had to make a change. Now, before I mention the change that would actually end up changing the course of the rest of my life, I need to mention the process that can actually result in you fixing your own rut, fixing your own day-to-day -day life to where you're not just wasting away doing nothing anymore. And I do want to finish this story telling you the good that came from this, but first I need to tell you guys exactly what you need to do and understand. Firstly, I call this the success cycle. It's a three-part cycle. There's inspiration, motivation, and action. These three things can all result in success. For example, when you get inspiration because you saw that certain video when you were scrolling about like David Goggins or maybe some sort of gym edit, you get up and you go to the gym which results in action. Or maybe you saw a video that made you feel really motivated and that motivation may have led to inspiration which then led to action. The whole point is that these three things all go hand in hand and they're extremely important. Now out of these three things, the one that you have control over is your action. Because when you need to be inspired, it could take you hours of scrolling, it could, it could take you hours of just doing random things. Or when you're looking for motivation. Motivation is a feeling, and you can't always control your feelings, but the one thing out of this cycle that you can control that will result in the other things happening is taking action. And no, I'm not saying getting up and throwing your phone across the room and going to the gym and doing all the work that you have to do. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you could do something as simple as getting up and brushing your teeth without your phone or taking a shower, and that action will then lead to either inspiration or motivation because, like I said, it is a cycle. And this is the cycle that I used to get out of the extreme rut that I was in where everything was going downhill. Like I said, I was comfortable for such a long time I was making good money, but all my social media views started declining, all of my money started declining, everything was going downhill until it led up to this certain point that I keep mentioning where I was forced to leave my parents' house. I was right. We had issues, we had disputes, and I had to leave. I had to move out. I'm only 19, I'm still a teenager, just graduated high school, and I had to leave my parents' house. And when it comes to money, I wasn't ready for that. Well, I guess I did have the money to leave, but I'm saying I've never dealt with a problem like this before. I've never dealt with a problem where I literally have no other option than to survive by myself. And by the way, what happened is I actually got a call when I was in LA from my brother, um, and he was basically saying like, okay, this is what's going on, and I told him right then and there. When I was in LA, actually with some of my creator friends standing on the balcony, um, it was amazing because I was in paradise. I was in one of the places in the world that so many people aspire to be in a really rich area and I'm talking on the phone and it's just one of the worst conversations because I knew as soon as I left LA and I came home that my life was going to change because my parents had did some things that I could not forgive and after they did those things I told my brother I said Evan we're leaving as soon as I get back no questions asked and you're coming with me so the next thing you know I fly home uh, my parents aren't even expecting anything and then I move out Instantly, I literally found this first place, the place that I'm in right now. The day that I got home from LA, this is when me and my brother came here. And I was in desperation at this point. Because I've been in this rut, I've been going downhill, everything was going down, everything was going bad, until I was left with the option of making a, a change, making a difference. I had to change. See, the difference is, most of us don't have to change. You don't need to get out of this state of mind where things are going wrong. You don't have to. 
But for me, when I moved out and I have to survive and I have to find a place to live and I have to feed myself, I have to at this point. So that's what I did. So instead of waiting for motivation or inspiration, I took action. What was that action you might be asking? I started posting on social media every single day. I made a new account where I would post 50 to 100 times a day. That account ended up getting 160,000 followers on TikTok in one month and I started seeing changes. All my money started going up and I started this new brand called Simpletics where I sell hair products. Now just because I started taking action doesn't mean that everything was solved. I woke up sick to my stomach every single morning in this room right here at the thought that I had to leave my parents because of what they did. And I felt disgusting and I felt horrible about it but I knew there was nothing else to do. Because at the end of the day, we're all facing problems. We each have our own problems. I'm not saying my problems are any bigger than yours or the next person's. My problem is probably less than a lot of people. There's people who can't even eat, who can't even afford to live. My problem was with my parents. Yeah, I had to survive. Yeah, I had to eat. I had to do all this. But at the end of the day, I'm grateful for what I do have. So now I'm here in this room. All I have in my room is an air mattress at this point, as you can see. There's more stuff now, but I'm waking up sick to my stomach with stress every single morning. How am I going to make money? That's all I'm thinking every single morning. Now, the reason I was so tight with money when I moved here and scared of maybe even not having a place to stay was because I lost my million dollar business. In high school, I started a business, built it to a million dollar business, and now it's gone. So now my only thought is that I need to try again because I'm never going to quit. And I started this brand called Simpletics, which you guys can get at Simpletics.com. I sell all natural hair products. And my only option was to make amazing products and make an amazing business. See, the thing is, when you're forced to do things, when you have no other option than to succeed, you're a lot more likely. And that's where I realized it's all about your mindset. So when you're in these depressive states and you feel like there's nothing that you can do, it's all your mindset. That's, that's the true problem. Because at the end of the day, if you were in a position where you had no other option, you were going to lose your house, you were going to lose your family, you were going to lose this, that, and the other, you're going to act. You're going to get up, you're going to stop scrolling on your phone every day, but then that's when you're dealt with the problem of becoming comfortable again. And this is where I am on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm at a point now where my business is doing well enough where I can somewhat be comfortable and I have to actively choose every single day not to be. I have to choose to post 50 to 100 times a day. I have to choose to do the things that I don't want to just for the satisfaction of making it where I want to be. And I'm not motivated or inspired every single day. There are days where I feel that way, but... I take action because action is always going to be the thing that gets you out of these depressive states where you feel horrible about yourself. Action is the only thing that you have complete control over because one thing I can tell you right now is you got two hands. At least I hope you do. I don't know if you, I, maybe some of you don't, but you got two hands for the most part. Most of you watching this right now, you can control your actions. You can control what you eat. You can control the weights that you pick up. You can control your phone, whether you want to post social media content, read a book, or learn anything on this free platform called YouTube. You can choose all of these things. And I don't want to get on you guys. I don't want to make you feel down about yourself because we're all here. We've been here. I've even struggled with problems about being down and out day to day, even with all the stress that I've been under. Even when I have to do well, I still deal with these problems. So like I said, the only option is to take action. And today is the day that you need to do that. So set your phone down, write down some goals, do something with these hands of yours and your mind because I know you're smart. Just use it. Take action. Take control of the things you have control of because if you don't, you're screwed for the rest of your life. And eventually, if you don't, you're going to be in a position where you're so uncomfortable that you have to. And that's a lot worse than doing it when you don't have to. I'll tell you that right now. So good luck. I hope this works out for you. I hope it works out for me. I know it will because I'm forcing myself to do this. I didn't want to even make this video, but I wanted to talk to you guys. And I felt like this is an important message. So use it wisely. Good luck, guys. Peace.